What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? What's good? What's up, guys? Say something. What up, y'all? <laughs> How y'all doing? Welcome. I'm gonna start probably saying welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a story about how we met and a little bit more about us with the spicy noodles. A lot of people are saying that they are not that spicy, that they get people get personas exageran and all this other bullshit so we're just gonna try them i am hungry and I so if it ain't spicy you got to back up you know. with that being said make sure to subscribe to this channel if you guys are enjoying these videos and let's just get started if you guys can hear the babies in the back we have babies so that's why. No, this is like your regular fucking spicy maruchan, you know? It just starts like staying a little bit after, but it's not bad. Anyway, how did we meet? You want to talk? How did we meet? Um, so me and Anna pretty much met through Facebook, no? Mm. We met through Facebook and then we started talking through there and then Well, he went to, well, kinda, you went to school with my cousin. Remember? So I've been knowing you before Facebook. But I was talking about that, like the beginning, right? Oh. Well. Face level isn't as I thought it would be, so I'm, I'm gonna have to add some more spice to this. These are actually good for like just a manchan meal kind of thing. Because I eat hot sauce with everything. I eat like chiles, jalapenos and all that. So, I'm a pro. Okay, that's not true though because you can't even handle like the hot wings from B-Dubs. Hell no, dude. I could smack like at least three of them. Yeah, but you're dying. Four. And I could probably like, I don't know. I'm thinking That's of it. doing the Blazing Hot Challenge. We have never tried those wings. So if you guys want a video like that, let us know. So the first time that I ever saw him was at, at a bonfire, right? Yeah. We met at a bonfire. My cousin had a bonfire at her, at her house. So I ended up going over. He was there with all his friends. And we didn't even talk. I just said, did I even say hi? I mean, sorry. I mean, we, we kind of like did introduce ourselves, like, oh, hey, what's up, you know? But it was just that. And then it was, it was just that. It's not that hot. I just sweat. I'm just like a person that sweats a lot, so. Do like Facebook and exchange numbers through Facebook, and then we just started hanging out for a while. Before all that though, um, we would always see each other at spots, like mostly every spot that I would go to, he was there, he would show up, I would show up, but we never, we never talked like that. Um, how did we start dating? We started dating, uh, like roughly uh, towards the end of our senior year. At least from yeah, you too, right? Obviously. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how to explain this to be honest. Like I knew you at one point, then we stopped talking, and then two years later we started talking again, and then that's when we started taking things more yeah. seriously. So once we started talking more, he was actually my best friend. So I'd be telling him like my boyfriend problems, <clears throat> and he would be giving me advice and shit. So ah! Leo came and messed up the whole shit. What up? Prison, like you've been prison and shit. Oh my god, babe. This video. This video is over, guys. Over. So, 
like I said, he used to be my best friend, whatever. Um, but he didn't want to ask me out. Can't really explain this whole story without tea. Without you know the juice. Yeah. <laughs> so it's well, just a brief. It's not really the actual what happened. It's just like a brief fucking summary explanation of. I don't know. Yeah, technically, we were talking. Um, we had a little thing going on. Then that thing didn't happen. I was started dating someone else. He went and did his own shit. And then we got back. Well, actually, he blocked me on every social media. I did. I didn't want nothing to do or know of her. I was like, F that B. It's, it's, it is what it is. So, you know, I guess fate, yeah. fate put us together. No, but technically, ass. well, I was mad that he didn't want to ask me out, so he got mad that I was doing me and he blocked me. Which don't make sense. But <clears throat> he unblocked me on Facebook and he did it to be honest on my messenger. And he literally broke the ice. We started hanging out more. I work at a Wendy's close to his job, so after after work, I would go and pick him up, and we would just chill the whole night. She worked at a Wendy's. I worked at McDonald's. Literally, like five what five minutes away from each other, apart from each other. Mm -hmm. And we would both work the same like shift. Night, night shifts, so. She would be done first or whatever, and then as soon as my shift would be over, she would already be like in the parking lot. I was pretty much your room. So she would just take me to home and we would chill at, you know, just chill out. Wait, but were we dating already? No, right? We were just, just hanging out at first, you know. Yeah, so we were just hanging out and chilling like every other day after work. And you know, start catching some feels. Well, I feel like I started falling for him faster because he was annoying. I was trying to uh, take things slow. Take things slow because I had been in a, re a recent relationship, and um, oh yeah, oh, I was like, yeah. I, I, me growing up, I was always in relationships, so I wanted to take like a little break and just. Lived that single life for a little bit, but apparently, you know, that wasn't the case. <laughs> so, but you know, I love this girl to death. I love my kids. I just general, all, all in all, just a good ass life right now. Living that good life. Life is good. So, for sure. Yeah, that's why you didn't want to ask me out, right? I totally forgot you were in a relationship. He was not in our relationship. Their relationship was already um, done. Friends, he went to see me while he had a whole girlfriend. Yeah, but you know, you don't need to spill all the beans. <laughs> you don't need to let you know tell everything. <laughs> this video does go up. Um, please excuse the baby crying in the back and all the interruptions. This video is kind of everywhere. also. I already know that in this whole video, you did not see him eat one bit. I was the one eating most of the freaking time because he would only start eating as soon as I turned off the camera. <laughs> All right, well here's one for y'all. That's right supposed here. to be like a freaking eating video, my thing. It's right here. Mmm. Like that slurp. Ew. <laughs> Fun fact, also, he is not Mexican. Salvadorian all the way, baby. He's Salvadorian. No salvi. So our I'm, babies are mixed. I'm a savior. Oh my god, he was talking about the <laughs> shit yesterday. Yesterday? Or the day before, that he's the savior because. Because what? Because Salvador is el, the savior, right? That's what. It, Salvador. We're savior. We're saviors. Can't, you can't, like I said, can't spill too much. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys, like I said, our, <clears throat> well, our relationship is. And it was a little bit juicy now. Como que la drama ya se calmó. But. In the beginning stages, I will admit that I was. You know. Not uh, fully fully dedicated. Not fully. 
um just not into it you know but i feel like that's every relationship like the first three months are like trial she was doing her own thing and then you know like we were together on. but we were still like talking to people that we weren't supposed to and like doing shit not not like did we cheat on well i don't know i don't know who knows months okay, let me find out okay so we are going to have six months together this april six months that's the mother six years <laughs> yes yeah, so we'll have six years together this april how did we manage to stay together for that long well like every everything else it comes with its ups and downs you nervous no i'm just moving my legs yeah nice thanks for killing what the fuck i was saying it's just pretty much like i said pushing forward trying to put in the extra work you know when i say that i mean like things that she might not like try to work on them things that i might not like she tries to work on them yeah you guys and i'm and really it's like a team effort always because we got kids i'm really um, so do you think i am hard to date or please no not really Maybe for me, you know, because, you know, we've been together for a while to a point where we were young and we kind of grew into it. Yeah, so we started dating when we were 19? 18. 18. 18, so now we're turning 25 this year. So it's been a hot minute. She was hard when I was in the beginning because, you know, I was very young. I didn't know much either and I still, I'm still learning, so... I want to say she's hard, you know, because life is hard. So everything in life is hard, so. You guys, as much noodles as I keep eating, no se me acaban. And I'll keep, I'm saying she don't have a bird. What is one thing you wish you could change about me? Um, sometimes she has this thing where she doesn't feel attractive. She thinks she's like. That's you know, not, but that's everyone though. But I'm trying to get into it like how you do it, you know? Because her ass be doing the most. And then she be thinking, for example, a person who doesn't feel comfortable with themselves might want to do th certain things oh, okay. to their body to enhance the way they look and all that but which is nothing wrong with that which though. is what i think is like all this could be done with hard work dedication and gym you know what i'm saying the gym getting them gains i got weights here i'm about to set up on gym i'm accepting you know memberships now what is one thing that i wish i could change about him or sometimes his temper you know his temper be pissing me off well like, one thing is that no 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 let me finish so to, to add getting... on to what I was saying, because you just cut my shit off, like I wasn't, like I wasn't even finished. So first of all, the reason why I said that is because I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay into this more. Like I'm not saying she isn't fit, because she is fit. I'm not know? fit. But I'm trying to move into this fit lifestyle, fit. and so I wish she would be more of that on on that with me. And I know she will because she she gets motivated easily. So. And then we'll see, you know. Lately, I've been I've been putting in work. work you know what I'm work, saying? I've been putting in work. God damn it, this one. It's pissing me off. Okay, well. So what? What is? How, what do you hate about that? What? About that whole thing. If you could just be more on board with me into this, so we could live. Well, I, I'm saying, but I am though. But like I told you, I literally texted you the other day. Okay, we should go get a gym membership. And then, and then what? And I agree. I said what? Okay. You said, y'all. Don't he, text me. He said. Don't text me said, back. <laughs> because I hate dry ass replies. Okay. He, he be just like. Okay. Okay. I was just like. Well, I was at work. I was busy. I was put. You know, I was prepping. So, ain't no time to be on the phone while you at work. Do you want more kids? Or. Do you want more kids? I I do want more kids, but. My second kid makes me not want to have another kid. Yeah. Like that sounds like horrible. Is that horrible to say? Well, I kind of. Why is that kind of? Because it's like, 
No, it, just... it's not even that. It's just that he is so small right now that he requires a lot of attention. So for us to even think about having another kid is just a big no because we can barely handle Leo. Maybe when he when he's like closer to me. Too. I do want. Nah, I already planned it. I'm getting pregnant in October. I do want another kid, but it's gonna be a lot more harder, especially since we got these two. It's already hard with one, then another one. A big part of me, a big part of me wants me to, wants to get over, <clears throat> get over with already, like with the kids. You know what? I'm only under my death insurance for one more year. You know, stay tuned for more kids. Right. She's talking about October, but no, I don't know about that. I do. Oh, well, all right, guys. We Leo is coming back, so we are just going to cut this off right here. If you guys are liking these videos, make sure to like. Subscribe, share, comment, you know. Do all that. Do all of that. Shit. All of that. Um, give us more video suggestions down below. I do want to prank you one more time. Then we're going to have to do this war then. We're going to have to <laughs> battle it out. Something out. Something. I don't oh know. Oh my god. Okay. Well, with that being said, I, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank y'all. You, you want to peek in here? Bye.